In today's video, I've got to give you an update to a tip that I gave probably two weeks ago, uh, especially in the midst of the QB draw craziness. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. For those of you that this is maybe your first video of mine that you've ever seen, I do tips and tricks videos that are designed to try to help you get better at Madden 21 and I do four of those videos every single day so if you are interested in getting better at this game uh, I'm not the best player but I work really really hard to learn and grow and give everything that I learn away to you guys on YouTube so if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button also real quick if you've been following me for any length of time and you're not subscribed uh, my data shows that about 60% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed yet do me a favor right now and please click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me out. And I think it will help you out as well because it's going to let you know every time we upload a new video, which is four times a day, um, that you're going to get access to new tips and tricks. All right, guys. So a video I did a long time, like I said, not a long time ago, about like two or three weeks ago, was the QB draw out of the West Coast. So the reason I like this is this is the only quarterback draw in the game that you can do from under center, and I feel like it gives you a lot of different opportunity. Well, one of the issues with it, and I'm going to show it to you here. We're going to go up against random defenses. One of the issues with this running, you might not see it at first, but basically he kind of sucks in. He kind of gets suctioned in sometimes if you don't take control over the quarterback right when the ball is snapped. What you're going to see is literally if I just let this play go, See how he gets kind of suctioned in? Now, sometimes that's a good thing because it's going to get him an automatic four or five yards. But a lot of times what was happening to me, especially in game, is I was getting suctioned into defensive linemen. Just like this right here, and I'm going to get hit, and I might lose, you know, I might only get one or yard. I might even lose a yard. How do you get control over the quarterback? Well, this is what this video is designed to do. It's going to give you an update to that tip. But before we do that, I do want to let you know. If you haven't joined the text message membership, I really highly encourage you to do that. It's completely free to join it. All you have to do is pull out your cell phone right now and just shoot me a text. My number is 812 812- 216-3644. It's also in the description and it's also on the screen right now. But by shooting me a quick text, what that's going to do is it's going to get you access to um, every week you're going to get an exclusive pro level tip. A tip that is really going to change the way that you play the game. This last year or this last week we did a video uh, in which we talked about several different ways that you can stop the run in Madden 21 and showed you literally step-by-step step how to stop it, how to stop some of the most popular runs like the stretch, like the quarterback uh, draw, like the ISO, like the fullback dive. So if you want to get that video, all you got to do is shoot me a text. Let me know your name when you text me. That way I can get you saved in my comment, in my uh, contacts. All right, guys, let's jump into the tip. So basically all you got to do is when you when you go to snap the ball, what I'm basically doing is I'm going to hold down on the D-pad, and then as soon as my quarterback moves, I'm going to let go, or I'm not starting the D-pad, on the left joystick. So literally, I'm going to I'm holding down on it right now, like 6 o'clock, and then as soon as he moves, I'm going to let go, and then from there, I'm going to decide, do I run to the middle, do I run to the outside on the right, or do I run to the outside on the left? And this is going to allow you just that one little split step to get behind your guy, and then make a decision about where you actually want to go. Do not, do not, do not, do not hold turbo until you're completely through. So if I'm through here, I'm done. I'm just going to run out. And once I'm in the open space, that's when I'm going to hold turbo. I'm not going to hold turbo behind the line of scrimmage, except for very, very rare circumstances, because it's going to cause a lot of issue. But if I want to run left, and what you're going to see with this, and what this is going to allow, especially if you don't hold turbo, your opponent, your uh, defender is not going to be able to use this, and you can literally just pick and choose what gaps you want to run. Now, again, this is obviously going to work a little bit better with Lamar Jackson or Michael Vick and Mutt or Robert Griffin III. With Aaron Rodgers, though, I mean, you're seeing he does fine. And what I actually like about this is it gives you more control. So literally, wherever they're going to blitz you from, that's where you're not going to run. It's so like right here, okay, I get blitzed. That time I did, I had a bad animation. I don't think I held down on the D-pad or the, the joystick like I need to. Again, make sure you're holding that at 6 o'clock, just like so. And there you see we're going to be able to get through it and get a quick 5, quick 6, quick 7. This is a huge deal because it's going to allow this play to become much, much more viable. Now, one thing I do like to do um, is I actually like to ID the, um, the nose guard and then double-team 
the right side guy but just because I think this helps with the blocking just a little bit. It gives you a little bit more um, running lanes and things like that. Remember, don't hold, don't let go of your day of your joystick until your guy actually moves. So until until your quarterback kind of takes a step backwards, which you can see he's going to literally move back. Whoops, I didn't get it right there for whatever reason. I don't know why I didn't get that. Um, but when when he moves back, that's when you go. So literally, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hold down before I hit the hike button. And now you should see he's going to go – there he goes back, and then he goes up. And there you see – look at – that's what I'm talking about. That little movement back allows him the opportunity to let his blocks kind of set up a little bit. And then you can actually – like like in this situation where they're blitzing me heavy, I can get outside left, do a double juke, you know, and you got Rodgers looking like – looking like, um, you know, Michael Vick out here, but that's what I'm talking about. And if you actually use Lamar Jackson or Michael Vick or uh, whoever that has 80, 90 plus speed on this, Kyler Murray would be a good one. Russell Wilson, all those guys, they can run this very, very well, as you can see right here. And resist the temptation. One of the things you're seeing right now is I'm having the temptation a little bit of wanting to you know, again, don't don't forget you can run it like a quarterback sweep outside. So don't always run it inside. There's a time and a place to run it inside, and there's a time and a place to run it outside. I uh, just want you to know that, and then just be wise with that. Watch your block set up. This run is phenomenal. I'm telling you right now, it's in my opinion, my personal humble opinion, it is better than the five wide QB draw because you have this quick yard, this quick three to five, this quick moment of time where you're going to be able to get the ball and you're going to be able to literally just roll right for right there. And that's an automatic two to three. That's an automatic two to three. If you double team, if you double team the nose guard, the guy that's going to shoot, and then you ID the other defensive tackle, watch what's going to happen here. Literally there. And then I can get through this and I can get a quick four, a quick five. Now, again, the sweep is where the money's made. The sweep is where, you know, things are really going to take off for you. But what I did want to show you, like right here, and that was, I think I had one little bad movement on my joystick there. But if I would have gone directly forward, that would have been, that would have been like house, house money. Watch this. They're going to come right down the middle. And then I, I need to do a better job of going forward here. But what you're seeing is the lanes are opening up. And if I wanted to run this like a sweep, I could still do that. Watch this. Watch the protection you get from that left side tackle. See that right there, how you're able to get outside and you're able to go. That's what part of what makes this such a powerful running play. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that tip. It's a little bit of a, you know, again, it's a little bit of a kind of a delicate uh, run play in my opinion. But if you can master this run, like, if you have a mobile quarterback, like you're seeing right now, Aaron Rodgers, who's like 70, I think he's 78 speed. He might be 81 speed, but he's like 78 or 81 speed. He's not 90 speed, but look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. You see how the middle lane is going to just open up and you're going to be able to go because what's going to happen is most people, the, the blitz angles of players are going to be to the outside gaps. He's going to be able to run right up the middle of that. Because most of the blitz angles are going to be the gaps. They're going to be the B gap, the C gap, the, you know, or, or the outside. You know, so what that's going to mean is literally right here, it's just going to open up and you're going to be able to walk forward for a quick three to four to five yards at a time. But the really powerful thing about this tip, in my opinion, is this still leaves you with the option to be able to do that little quick suction thing. If you want to, if you want to just pound forward for a few yards, you can literally, like I'm holding up on the joystick right now. Watch what's going to happen. He's going to go forward instantly instantly go forward so i can hold the joystick wherever it is i want to run if i want to run to the right i can hold the joystick right at the snap right here what look at that see how he suctions in and he goes so you know just some things i think this quarterback draw is better than you would think especially if you've maybe ran it a couple times and you keep getting suction tackled or whatever you're going to find this is better than you think especially when against the right defense at the right time you hold back on the joystick to be able to get him back let the block set up, then go, and now it really starts to work hand in hand. Two different types of runs from the same play. So I wanted to share that with you. I also want to encourage you to join the text membership. If you thought this tip was good, we give you even better, even higher level of tips in that texting membership. And real quick, if you haven't picked up my uh, coaching sessions yet and you would like one-on-one -on -one help in Madden 21, I would highly encourage that. There is no better way to get better, in my opinion, than to have a coach. And I offer coaching sessions now because I just want to offer that to you guys and help you. A lot of people have asked for that. And so I, I want to let you know about that. If you haven't 
picked one up yet, you can in the description of this video. We have 60-minute and 30-minute sessions available. Last but not least, guys, if you haven't joined the Discord, what are you waiting on? Discord is where our community talks Madden 24-7. It's where you're able to talk Madden, not just with me, but with other people from the Madden community as well. So uh, just wanted to let you know that, and we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern.